Okay, Thursday morning in the kingdom, and it's nine o'clock, and it's still dark, and I'm standing under this street light. Okay, see the street light up there? Ooh, I feel like one of those ladies of the evening standing on the street corner, hoping to get a ride home or something, or somebody loves me. Okay, it's another warm day in the kingdom here. It's minus 12 Celsius, but feels like minus 14, okay? And for my USA friends, that's 10 Fahrenheit and feels like 7 Fahrenheit. Oh, the yo-yo scale. Okay, so yesterday the staff went uptown after work there to check out the card lock there. And it works. There was people there lined up to get fuel. So we'll wait a couple of days to get for them to get the bugs worked out of it. It could be a new computer chip or something like that. You never know, eh? So I'll let them figure out the bugs and then we'll go get some fuel because we got busy days in the kingdom here being warm we have lots of stuff to do and also too look at the talent eh as I reach over here all right she says this was on sale all right look at that my new best friend Jack all right I'll be drinking like an American eh all right so the best way to describe this, me drinking this, trying to be American, would be like watching The Hunt for Red October. That's that 1990s movies uh, with Sean Connery. And the Soviet sub is out of control and zooming all over in the underworld, okay? So the best scene of the whole movie is that guy, I don't know if he was the first officer or co-pilot or whatever of the sub, he's talking about living in Montana and driving a pickup truck and owning a recreational vehicle. So that's his dream of becoming an American. Well, he never mentioned nothing about no Jack Daniels, okay? So well, I think when you drink this, you can really become an American. Also too, on my world book tour, I wanna to be able to tour the plant there where they make this, Jack Daniels, okay? So everybody's been there. I follow along on Drama Book, and they said the smell is unreal. Plus, you get free tasting of it. So I will probably won't be the first person they carry out of the free tasting because I'll have lots of uh, enjoyment, as we say. All right. So yesterday was a long video. We tried a long one. It takes about three hours for us to edit it or shorten the little videos and then load it up in the computer and then transfer it over to the other computer and then... Uh, YouTube has to accept it and make sure there's nothing wrong with it, you know, because I could have said some bad words or something. So it takes about three hours. So I did the dishes, I did everything else because you can't really use that computer when you're uploading because if you start going to, you know, other sites and stuff, it slows the speed down a little bit, you know. So I did the dishes, cleaned the house, had fun. So we're just doing a test there, 43 minutes. I imagine a lot of people fell asleep through it or... They're like me and have a tension span of zero. So you just fast forward, find the good parts and enjoy, okay? I do that except for on the Playboy channel, I stop and hit pause lots, you know, cause there's so much informational information on the Playboy channel there. So I know I grew up with Playboy magazines and stuff. Okay, all right, so today's project, oh, right there. Okay, that's the communist cat. And it's spelt with K's. Okay, he's the communist cat because when he came here, he only turned left. Okay, I think that's what it was. Or was it turned right? I can't remember. But it was broken. So it got the name communist cat. And it's got the big V plow on the front with, that came off a Lynn tractor in 1929 that they built, uh, used to build the Island Falls Hydro Generating Station back in 1929. Okay. So it was, I don't know, we can say this is Lynn Tractor Week. So if we get this little cat out and do a little plowing there, we'll keep in the Lynn Tractor theme, okay? And as you can see, we got the road blocked off there in case the staff shows up drunk and drives over the cord and then the ski carbide tips or whatever cuts the cord, right? Just like the Ginzu knife. Well, if you know what a Ginzu knife is, you're old like me. Because I would think it's slice and dice and do everything, all right? But oh well. So we'll get this little cat up and running today. We'll go do the little plowing. It's trying to snow. I don't know if you guys can see it in the screen here or whatever, but I can see it, okay? It's kind of dark. Maybe you can't see the snow, okay? But today we're gonna have a fun day because it's Thursday 
and Johnny will keep us posted and when he when the beer's coming then the staff will get a fresh case you know we hate drinking old stuff you know because it tastes weird eh it's like when I grew up man I I grew up I went from the breast to the bottle not from the breast to the can all right so I always drank my beer out of a bottle because it tastes better okay and then there's so much uh I don't know it's a polite word to say uh, negativity in Whoville so they don't sell bottled beer outside the bar okay because all that happens is the beer bottles get broken there's glass everywhere and everything which may kind of make sense because if you're drunk and you fall down and you know cut yourself on the glass that's not good so they only sell canned beer you know as out to, for off sales or vendor whatever okay so I had to switch from drinking beer in a bottle to beer in a can and it doesn't taste the same and you tell everybody I went from the breast to the bottle and not to the can okay so I don't like drinking beer in the can it tastes differently so maybe that's why I switched to vodka and then put orange juice in it and then some 7-up or Canada Dry or whatever on sale to give it the little fizzy fizzy eh okay but I'm not sure what I'm gonna drink with uh, Jack Daniels tonight you know, I can't drink it like Lemmy, eh? He was a cool dude, eh? Like he said, you're born a loser, become a winner. Oh, I screwed that up. Oh, God. But that's true. I was a loser, born a loser. And look at me. Now I'm famous around the world for standing out here in the dark in my dark sunglasses, holding a stick, talking to myself and rambling on. And people like it. I like that. Okay, but Lemmy drank his drinks. What was it? Jack and Coke or whatever they call it. But we have a problem. Coke products aren't popular up here at the end of the world because of shipping and rotation of the earth and all that crap. So we only got Pepsi. So I'm going to offend Lemmy by drinking it with Pepsi. I'm sorry, Lemmy, but it's, that's what it is. You know, if you lived at the end of the world, you'd have to change your diet or whatever. But we also drink it with cherry Kool-Aid. All right. Okay. Everybody laughs at us, you know, here you are, an old geezer, old man, and you're drinking with drinking cherry Kool-Aid? Oh, yeah, because we can't afford the Pepsi or the Pop or anything, because we're up here, it's like almost $14 for a 12-pack of cans of Pepsi, all right? But that's the shipping costs and everything like that, all right? But that's a fact of life. All right, I better get going. I don't know where the dog went. I've seen him there a couple of times. Maybe he went back to the shop because it's too, too warm out here for him. Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom, and we're using lots of salt on these doors because we have way too much ice buildup. But this year we can't have the salted snow get scattered around the yard because we have all the sleighs, we need the snow. So I put the little sign on the wall here so the staff knows when she's running the mini hoe to put the salted snow in the snowbank here. That way it can stay there and we can scoop it up with the bucket of the loader. The last thing we want is our snow base to melt away. Okay, we're ready for when the staff shows up after lunch. We got the little communist cat here up and serviced and ready to go. We've plugged in and over here we have the twins. They're two TD9s that are made to look the same, act the same and such. And they are true winter freighting cats because they are spec that way. And in the background there and through the window is the little TD6 known as the curse of reverse. So he's been in the kingdom over 20 years and he hasn't really done anything in his life. Oh well.
Okay, the staff got a little video of us plowing some snow there. Where I'm waving on the cat, we're close to the highway, and I we seen Johnny come to town with the beer. So you gotta wave at the guy driving the beer truck. So we gave him a quick wave. All right, so this is the communist cat. He's a TD6. We acquired him on the Double J Adventures. Okay, and it's featured in my book, uh, Cat Train Newsletters. That was my first book I ever wrote or produced. It started in 2003. It was published in 2006. And then Amazon was nice enough to take it over after my publisher disappeared during the COVID-19 lockdowns. Okay, so Communist Cat was no prize. And I mean no prize. I'm trying to walk and talk. And the ground's not even. Okay, so he came to the kingdom with a broken final drive and the motor was seized. So we used the bar starter to break him loose. So we got him up and running. We fixed up the hydraulics on it. And we had some really nice hydraulic cylinders from the mine here. Because we want this cat to lift up high and push down low. Because if we're doing road breaks, we've got to be able to climb up out of the creeks and off the lakes and everything like that. So in 2019, I sent the cylinders south to be rebuilt. And of course, they disappeared. Three years later, I'm getting 101 excuses by the guy. Everything from them being bent to an oddball size or whatever. So, uh, F it. Okay, be polite. So, Sir Rodney acquired these at Princess Auto. Okay, so we made them fit. All right, so that cost me $1,000. But that's only money, right? That I could have spent foolishly on women. But the whole idea of this Lynn Tractor V plow on the front is they had a big steel plate on the front here too. Okay, this was totally enclosed in here. So trying to push this V-plow through the snowbank was trying to like push a surfboard through the waves, all right? It didn't work. So we cut it off. And when we cut it off with the chop saw blades and everything, this became a nice sharp edge. So it cuts the willows off like a KG blade. A KG blade in Canada is highly recommended or spec'd when you're pushing bush or anything like that for the big corporations called hydro and stuff like that. So we turned out with a KG blade. So this thing, when it's cold, it shears off the willows and the brush. So it's good for reopening trails and stuff. This is my best earning cat for money-wise. He's made me the most amount of money for the little amount. And everybody laughs at his little pads, okay? And we laugh at that because these people don't understand what the TD6 is in the caterpillar world or the cat world or whatever. These things will walk on water. It's well written about in the Sigvison Roads book because these cats always broke open the road and stuff like that when the conditions got bad. This cat will basically go where you can walk. And you, once you plow off the snow, it freezes up. So this cat has served me well. We keep it in good standings in the kingdom because he's made me money. So we like spending money on him and treating him good. So a little bit of V-plowing today worked out very well. And look at the flag exercise. He's in his natural state. Okay, it's quitting time in the kingdom and it's getting dark. So I finished up putting the electric fuel pump on the TD-18 known as Dooley. So this helps the worn out fuel pump that's been on there for 70 some years. So putting these electric in really helps out. And plus we didn't have any hydraulic hoses or anything like that. So we used some semi airline stuff here. This is just temporary. So 20 years from now, we'll change it out. And let's back up and see what the flag exercise is doing. Just look at him. He's in his natural state. So it's time to go pick up the dogs. No, walk the dogs, pick up the pony, and then drink some Jack Daniels while I edit this video. And I'll include links in the description to these books and such, okay? So that way everybody knows what I'm talking about. It's kind of, sort of, maybe. All right, talk to you later.